I want to take you through a short tutorial on how to change the size of a PowerPoint presentation from a 4 by 3 to a 16 by 9. Before we start, I really like to say thank you to you uh, for your input uh, to the World Civil Congress. We are really looking forward to seeing you in September, and we're also quite excited to see your presentation. So if we start, the first thing to do, you can see my presentation, just one slide here for this purpose. Uh, I have a picture, I have a text, I have logos. There are two ways about it. You can either put this in your slide master, which I have done, or you can have these boxes up in every slide as you desire. So the choice is yours. So let's start. We go into design, which is here in the upper left corner. And the panel here is different from each user. Uh, the size of uh, PowerPoint is right here for me. So I click on that and you can see it's the standard four by three the boxed version, uh, which is the current one, and then the white screen, 16 by 9, 16 by 9. Uh, and for all the presentations of the World Seawood Congress, we would like to receive your PowerPoint slides in the 16 by 9. So let's click this. So now you see that the slide has changed a little bit, and the pictures both uh, the picture of the blue background, it got a little bit skewed, which is okay for this picture. But you can see the logos, like right here, you can see the logos are a bit uh, off. They have been squeezed down just a little bit. Uh, same goes for this text, which for, for this slide is in a picture format in the Slide Master. So I'll show you how to do this if you have it in your slide master, which is the same as you do if you're just doing it on your current slide. Uh, the same principle applies, it's just a different location. So if you wouldn't have all of this in a slide master like I do, you would go into the picture, the panel here, or the, uh, this um, uh, group of logos, this uh, first logo you can see is uh, a bit off. The other ones are a little bit less off. Uh, this is uh, a little bit uh, strange looking, so I would like to change this. So if I would do it on this slide, I would just go into the corner here and pull it together until it's in the desired look. But as I said, I have it in my slide master, so I go up here to view click on that and into the slide master and now the slide master opens up and it most of the time opens up in the third slide as you can see right here but to do anything for the whole slideshow you need to go into the first slide and now I'm into the editing mode of the slide master and what I would like to do is to fix those locals here this group of locals uh, which is here so I click on it and it, I activate it and I just pull from this left side until I'm happy with the looks of the logos. So you can see they're all coming together, starting to look a little bit better. So they're not as skewed. But now this, this uh, group of logos, which is in one, are in one picture, they got a little bit too small. So now I like the proportions of my logos and I would like to enlarge it. Then I hold down the shift key, go into one corner and drag it up. And that means the proportions will be kept the same, but the logos are going to be bigger. And then it's just personal preferences where I want to have the logo stationed. And here it is. The same goes for this text here. I would like to shrink it a little bit from, from right to left because I think it's a little bit pulled. So I put this, this uh, a little bit like that. Now the, the country, Iceland, looks a little bit better, but it got a little bit smaller, so I click or hold down Shift and, and click here in the, the top right corner 
and pull it into the desired size. So this is it. I go here now to the middle here uh, uh, at the top. I close the slide master. And just remember when you are here already, you've been doing something in the slide master, you need to save. It will not be saved automatically. So now you can see that my slide is 16 by nine. It's looking better. The logo as, logos are correct. And if I would be, as I said in the beginning, if I would be doing this on the slide, it would be the same principle. I would press the group of locals and then just move it back and forth into the desired uh, size and proportions.